Another fine evening up on the roof. So when I'm working on these valleys and these dormers, I have several dormers on my the front of my house. When I'm working on these, I first put one shingle down there at the edge and then extend that up and then I start on the corner right down there and start overlapping onto the other surface here. As you can see, so you gotta start with these because the bigger part of my roof the bigger part of my roof slopes down onto the dormers and so you put the shingles on the dormers first. That makes sense. So um, before we do this main section of the roof here, we gotta get these dormer sections done. So you can see right down here again, put that shingle down first and it it goes up and underneath that a little bit. That It's like a full size shingle that comes up into here and then we overlap these shingles from the dormer onto it. So just a little tip here when you're working with dormers and we're just going over the existing shingles because these are just shingles that are original to the house that are uh, wearing out but they're still in good enough shape and there's no leaks in my roof and there's no soft spots in the wood. So things are still in good enough shape that I don't have to tear anything out or other than the ridge caps here. I'm tearing off the ridge caps so that my nails will be long enough to pierce through the, la the several layers of shingles that you end up with on the top of the ridge. So, so like I said, first you start with those that one kind of starter shingle down at the base. You put it up onto the dormer on both sides. See that goes up onto the dormer underneath those shingles and then we layer these shingles on top. Um, and we're taking off the ridge cap here. Then I'm going to put the last layer of shingles up and over the edge, kind of like you can see the old shingles here come up and over after I tore off the ridge cap here. So I'm going to do that same thing with my new shingles, go up and over the edge and then put a new ridge cap on. But you can't finish the ridge cap right here until you've got the shingles finished going this way. So first, it's going to finish these rows of shingles going over the dormers. You can kind of see down here as well. I put some ice and water barrier down where I get a few places where I get ice dams in my roof. As you can see, I finished those little front sections and then this larger dormer here, kind of where I am with these other ones. And you extend it with a full shingle over the valley. There's lots of good videos on how to do a valley, but I just kind of want to show you the order of operations of what you're supposed to do in what order. So we extended those shingles down past the valley and then we'll come back over here and bring them up to here and overlap them again and then we'll make the cut with the second row that goes over. So I'm going to take these ridge caps off here, same same thing on this side. So give you a, a big overall picture here. See those dormers started on the back side here. I think it's a good idea to replace these boots. I got some nice metal boots that won't warp in the sun as much as the plastic ones will. Um, like I said, I didn't have any roof. I didn't have any leaks in my roof. Um, I didn't have any soft, spongy spots on the deck. And the shingles are are disintegrating, but they're not in so terrible shape that uh, they could have maybe lasted one more year. But I just wanted to be proactive and put the layer of shing the new layer of shingles on top before the old shingles completely dis disintegrated and I started having leaks. So it's good to be proactive and you can save yourself money if you if you catch your shingles when they're getting really worn out but not quite needing to be torn off yet. So it saves a lot of time and money if you don't have to tear things off. You can just go over the top. I just had one layer of shingles there now. So making good progress here. Get these dormers done. So we got this valley done. Made a nice straight cut there. Using the chalk line really helped, and then I got my ridge caps on. Same thing with those, definitely want to use a chalk line. And uh, got those dormers done, I just need to work on leading up to the valley around so I can make valley cuts on these. So, got about another week before it starts to rain according to the forecast, so I better keep working hard on this and get it, get it mostly done if we can. Although it's not the end of the world if it rains, it's... My roof doesn't leak at all, so we're just putting over 
we're going over the existing shingles. These shingles I have here on the roof that we're replacing are starting to disintegrate a little bit. The uh, getting frayed around the edges with the uh, little loose uh, fiberglass fibers showing. So they are 25 years old, original to the house, and that's the first layer that was ever put on the roof, and we're just putting a second layer on now. So. I think we'll make some good progress here this evening before it gets dark. It's a nice, beautiful September, late September evening, and it's not too hot, which is awesome. It feels good, so we'll keep working here. <clears throat> Use the underlayment right there, and the underlayment right here where you, the ice dams typically form on my roof. I got this little section done, it's looking good. Here we are on the roof. What are we doing? Tree roofing. Is it fun? I don't know why that is big, that big of a deal. Love you. Love you too, buddy. Thanks for your help. Welcome. You're awesome. Good roofer. Why are you up there? Because I'm fixing the roof. Because it's fun and it needs to be done. No, no. It does, see? Yeah. No, it's done. I love you. Love you. It's kind of spooky, huh? I want to go up there. You want to come up there? Yes. Okay. You want to help him. Let me come get you. Wait, wait, wait. Stay there. <laughs> 